G'day, we're uh, visiting Coral Castle and we've found a lovely young lady here. <laughs> this is Gretchen Jones. Hi. From where is it in Florida? Vero Beach. Vero Beach. And what do you have got there? Um, this it's is uh, some wire. A bit of wire. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a divining rod, or somebody said it might be. Okay, so you're standing there and what have you noticed? That the wire is being pulled by something in the stone. By something in the stone. Yeah. And we've looked up here and we've actually found a mark in the stone of a fairly sizable bolt, yeah. Yeah. isn't big it? Bolt. A yeah. big bolt. And this is right on the crescent moon of Ed's. Right under, right in the centre of it, and right below this chair, which is where the first abnormality of this rod was taking place. We also found a very strong pull to just about eight feet from that post in alignment with those, um, what would you, condominiums, some description? Apartments. Apartments. And, uh, and just around the corner here, what did we find when you ran the wire again? We came around the side where the pool is in the north compass. We aligned it to the north compass, didn't we? Yes. And, uh, oh, by the way, it's Peter from Atmospheric Ionisation. And what else did we find here? It's we aligned it and we actually found a hole. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody's left a Valentine's love message in there, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and this is right underneath, on the outside wall of this triangular cube space. And it aligned it directly to this centre hole. Is yeah. that close? Yeah. Tell me again. Yeah. What what did it do? It lined up with the the hole. Did it? Yes. How did you know it was doing that? The this wire was was um, pointing different ways as I walked. Yeah. And when we got here. Yeah. It it pointed. It's doing it again. It's doing it again. Yeah. Um, kind of going anywhere right now. But yeah, it, it kind of goes crazy when it gets to the to the hole yeah. right there. It really pulls itself towards that centre yeah. hole. Okay, and then we walked around the around the perimeter, didn't we? Yeah. We took off across and followed the wire. The wire's doing all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. And how did you know to start doing this? You can feel it, and it it pulls it pulls my hands when it does that, and it also points in certain directions. Right, okay. So you just follow and walk the direction? Yes. Okay, let's go. See what happens when we walk this way. Let me just come out to the top. And it's turning again. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, isn't that interesting? Same location. Let's keep going. Right the way around. It hasn't straightened up yet. No, yeah, it's, it's still pointing back towards that. Is it? So it's a very strong pull? Yes. Okay, so now it's letting itself go. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. It's, it's not. Um, and it's now aligning itself. Good? Yeah. Yep. And turned away or turned around again. Hold it way out in front of you again, but it's pointing towards water. Okay. So we know that. Keep walking. Right the way around. Just want to see what happens when we go right the way around the other side. Just I'll relax your arm down a little bit. Just bend your elbow back towards your, yeah. And just let it sit out there. Okay, I'm just going to walk in front of you. I just want to come, follow me. This is uh, the quarry. And I just want to see you walk right up past this place here. And just follow the wire. Did it push away? It did just displace it. Oh. It is. Okay, yeah. just go back and follow the wire. It's pulling you there. Walk this way. And now there. Yeah. Stop, look down. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what that is. 
it looks like an earth pin that Ed put there. This was his original, or possibly one of the original posts that he used to ground and make a mark for. Oh, wow. Oh, by the way, if we look up, we get an alignment with the North... See that? Uh, the North Polar Star, right back over this way? Yes. Okay, so he lined that up with that as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think now? Tell me. Are you able to divide? Yes. Good, thank you. It's wonderful meeting you. Thanks, Gretchen. And you'll be on YouTube <laughs> under Atmospheric Ionization, the Coral Castle, visit number three. Do you have a card? I do, and I'll give it to you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> wonderful. Did you enjoy that? This is very nice. I'm so glad you were here. Thank you. I wouldn't have understood this if you weren't here. Do you think anybody does? It's still a mystery. Yes. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.